Hi, I just want to share some thoughts about why a lot of times we don't get what we deserve. And I think a lot of this really stems from our inability to communicate and act from a position of our value. We need to remember that we're living in a world where people are constantly on the lookout for the best deal. We want the most value at the lowest cost. And we often forget that we ourselves are a deal to somebody or an organization or a system. A lot of times we find that people will undermine us or you know, withhold information and then capitalize on our lack of knowledge. A lot of times we often find that we are made to feel you know, grateful to just be here, grateful to be employed, grateful to be in this relationship, you know, grateful to be in this career, whatever it is. And a lot of times when people make you feel like you should just be grateful to have somebody engaging with you or somebody dealing with you, it's so that they can extract more out of you than they should. And so that you are put in a position where you give more than you really should be giving for what you're getting. So what brought all of this to mind? This week, I had a conversation with somebody who almost made me doubt myself and my philosophies. And this person was really introducing doubts that I have worked so hard to overcome because I really work hard at training my mind to do things that scare me and do what I believe that I should be doing. And during this conversation, I felt, you know, caught off guard. I wasn't really able to properly articulate my value. And what was happening is it was elevating this person into a position of power where they could speak my value over me according to their own perception. And of course, you know how conversations go. As soon as the conversation is over, all of a sudden you have all of these insights and you have all of these comebacks and you know exactly how you should have responded. But what this conversation did for me was make me understand the importance of structuring and categorizing the value you bring in such a way that you're in a position to negotiate the terms and conditions that are commensurate with the value that you bring to the table. If you had a bar of gold that you were selling and somebody came to you with a ridiculous offer of 10 bucks, whatever currency you want to use, and you were coming from a position of, well, you know, I should be grateful that somebody's even willing to talk to me about my sale. And, you know, I should be grateful that this person is even willing to buy from me. Then you would be betraying the value of what you're holding because you do not understand the value of what you have. But if you come from a position where you've done enough research and you've really looked at this gold bar that you're holding, you know what it's worth, you know what this person can do with it, then you'll say, actually, no, I deserve more. And these are the reasons why I deserve more. And that's exactly what we should be doing. Even in our relationships, we find ourselves in relationships where people are always acting upon us and making us feel so grateful that they're with us because of everything they're bringing into our lives. But how often do we take a step back and say, hold on, this is what I bring to the table. You know, maybe you are a stay at home partner and your partner is the breadwinner. And, you know, because of that, they exert all their power over you and minimize your contribution in the home. Sometimes you need to take a step back and say, actually, I do this and I do this and I do that. And because of that, this is the respect I deserve. This is how I want to be treated. It's the same way um, in your career, in your friendships, in your business. What value are you bringing to the table? And it's so important to understand your value because it inspires you to invest in yourself even more so that you can increase your value. And I find that it makes you calmer. It makes you more self-assured. There are a lot of people who are temperamental and hypersensitive and, you know, so reactive because they constantly feel cheated. They feel overlooked. They feel undermined. They just know 
that they're not getting what they what they deserve, but they don't know how to communicate this. You know, they get into conversations and people speak over them and, you know, people make it seem like they should just stay in the background, right? So I think the main thing that we need to remember is we need to understand what value we are bringing. What are we worth? We need to draw our confidence from what we are worth. If we feel that we can do better, if we feel that we can increase our value, that's what we should do. Don't operate from a position of feeling less than because people can pick this up. You know, people have an incredible ability to sense when they are dealing with a person who considers themselves to be a high value individual and a person who, you know, considers themselves to be less than and they will treat you accordingly. So when it comes to quantifying or assessing the value that you bring, sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming, intimidating, or confusing. But a simple place to start is simply to look at your role in the context of the greater picture. So you want to ask yourself, what would happen if you were not here? You want to count the costs of your absence and you also want to aggregate the positive impacts that you make through your contribution. Basically, you look at the functioning of the system, the organization or even the home in which you are operating. What would happen if you were not there? How are you part of getting those cogwheels turning so that things move? You see, you want to look at yourself as a driving force, not just something or someone in the background that is insignificant and not in a position to negotiate. You want to look at yourself as being the essence of whatever it is that you have been called to do, whatever you have been tasked with doing, whatever you've been hired to do. So this is why it's so important for us to really take a purpose-driven approach to whatever it is that we're doing because that enables us to operate from a value-add position. A lot of times we don't get what we deserve because we don't actually know what we deserve. We don't know what we are worth. And with that, I would like to wish you a pleasant weekend. Think about your value and remember, purpose transforms everything.